I'm really glad that we still see so many people stay behind us to attend the closing ceremony. We started the preparations months ago and our whole team has worked hard to make this event successful. These three days were full of excitement, enthusiasm, highs, lows, wins, losses and a lot of other emotions engaged with it. Our whole team would have never thought that we could make this event this much successful. We are really glad to be a part of this organizing event and hope all of you have enjoyed and we are really apologetic for any technical issue or something else. We hope that you have enjoyed the online band too. Now we will be playing short clips from each event at the conference. Okay, um, good evening everybody. Sorry for the small technical difficulty right now. So, our club was founded in the year 2016 and to host the SRC just within four months, four years of inception is no small feat. But our club was not always what it is today. The efforts of our past members have helped us reach where we are today. Today, we are lucky to have three of our ex-presidents here with us. Mr. Rahul Mohanty founded AICH NITR in the year 2016, the first president of our club. Under his guidance, the club took the baby steps that have led us to this day. He has co-founded the startup Failtale, an online platform that connects people to inspire each other. Currently, I think Siddharth is having some technical difficulties. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Uh, my, my, my internet pack just got over, so I, I had to recharge. So continuing, I would like uh, Rahul Bhai, Rahul Bhaiya to please address the audience. Yeah. So hi everyone. Uh, I hope so. I'm audible. Uh, yes, Bhaiya, you're audible. Yeah. So, uh, good evening, everyone. Um, it's my pleasure that uh, I was invited to uh, speak on behalf of ACHA, uh, being the founder of ACHA. So, uh, from starting, uh, first, I would not want to like uh, congratulate these people, like the whole uh, EB of 2020-21-2019-20 to pull up such an like event right now uh, of like totally online, virtually, uh, without any support from like physical um, support, like it was very difficult as we can see, like what is the situation right now due to the pandemic, but uh, like it was great on the part of like both the EVs to manage and uh, host such an event uh, virtually completely. So uh, let me take down you to the like founding days, like what all, how was the situation then? So I was in my second year that time. Uh, in 2016, uh, when it took me around nearly four months, uh, I approached uh, uh, then that time, like three of us, like uh, approached like my friend V Rajan Kumar Raju, Swagat Mohanty, and then we I went to Sujit Kumar, Professor Sujit Sen, sir, uh, who was our first uh, faculty advisor, and uh, he um, agreed to help in that like baby step situation in which. Uh, really like many professors wouldn't have done that. So I'm very grateful to Professor Suji Sen who um, helped in starting up the chapter. So he was our first faculty advisor. It nearly took me three months to um, 
inculcate this club like uh, to start this club under student activity center and around nearly four months to get a student chapter status which we got um, like the official founder uh, letter which i got was in december 2016 from that time it is like a very rough journey i might say like because it was just a starting club we didn't have that much budget in the starting we just got 10000 rupees budget but that is also much for just a starting the club but yes um, somehow we sailed through it was very difficult in the few first phases because most of the members were your own uh, classmates it was difficult to manage them so we had our seniors but they were not like it was difficult to handle but as time went by one year two year we started um, like participating we didn't have so many uh, into the international chapter bases but yeah locally we had many events uh, going on we had worked for chemicar a lot of times but uh, although we couldn't um, go to any like competition but yeah people have learned here and have started um, very soon too uh, then the club like in my uh, in like 2017 18 Uh, we didn't have any SRC that time, so SRC was first uh, there in 2018-19, and uh, it was uh, first organized by VIT, Bello Institute of Technology. It was really good to go and participate because before that we weren't able to go to US to directly participate in annual student conference. So it was really good. Like uh, as I say, like I think so many of these students here in Southern Asia region. got the opportunity to at least participate and take a flavor of what goes on in annual student conference so it was great in uh, like going in vit so the first conference was uh, held uh, and we uh, in the on the in the first conference itself like we were the uh, chemi geopardy winners uh, for the first time and uh, we were selected to go to usa and represent in pittsburgh so in annual student conference uh, i was alone who went to us for that time to represent uh, as my partners like my juniors who were there with me did not get the visa approved uh, it was a great experience there we met professor fogler and various professors and everything so it was a great experience there like but i would say like it was all possible because the src was there so it, to bring src to like it's very a great um, like um, caliber of all our international license before that we could uh, actually bring the ssc in southern asia region then um, i would say 2018 19 went well by we all learned a lot it started and everything went by in 2019 mit pune it was again a great uh, and maybe better like they learned it learned from the mistakes of vit and made it even better and we had a good experience there too uh, along with our others and yeah there also nit got its like again chemi geopardy we got second prize chemi safe we got second prize our one of our students also won the mock uh, mock uh, like the placement competition like we nit calculus was uh, there in good books everywhere with that uh, it was like i looked at the hand so that's what like i'm very proud of my juniors of my like everyone who has done who has worked i would want to bring uh, we are sorry for this virtual conference like i know last time when i pitched in the um, conference src for the 2020 conference Uh, everyone and unanimously supported me but like unanimously unanimously supported nit rockella but still uh, like the i i think so uh, like all the chapters might be happy with what they have faced till now but if at all they couldn't have uh, like basically the chemical competition could not have could not be held this time or maybe the physical presence here to grace the whole beautiful campus of nit rockella yeah so that's like due to pandemic we couldn't do that so i am really sorry for that uh, otherwise i hope like all the chapters the presidents and the religious regional lions who were present there uh, might have um, like like they might have seen how well like our united rockless students might have 
hosted you and might have supported you in each and every um, competition and each and every part of the whole con conference so living this um, it's really great like if i say my right now what i am like ach has been a very um, it's in my roots like i would say i'm really connected with ach and i've gained a lot due to this like due to this uh, experience only i founded uh, one of the company right now like uh, we have started field tail um, that's a for mental health like people who are suffering with failures like we have created a social media platform uh, also my job like as a management trainee i think so my experiences throughout this five years uh, of having this um, club culture having this uh, leading this club culture and everything might have helped me a lot in my whole career and i always owe to this uh, ashg every time and yes and obviously like both the times i could have i went to us totally funded by my institute uh, that's also due to the ac conference uh, like the annual student conference the student digital conference so i'm really a little um, like it's kind of uh, emotional like it's connect with ac and living this um, i want to appraise like praise again my all my juniors like who could pull off this event such successfully and i hope so everyone enjoyed this event and thanks a lot uh, i want the course to take it to the next uh, president ex president thank you thank you bhaiya for that lovely speech um it was great to know about the roots of our club and so we move on to the next speaker after his presidentship uh, Uh, good evening, Sujit sir. Um, so, Siddharth, please uh, feel free to interrupt in case my audio fluctuates because I'm having an internet issue over here. Uh, for the same reason, I won't be able to switch on my video as well. So, before okay, I move on, yeah, sure. Uh, so, before I move on, I hope all of you and your near and dear ones are well and um, fine in this unprecedented. time we got a chance uh, definitely the growth of, and the success of our chapter was because of the hard work of all the members who have been associated with the chapter till now and along with that the guidance and cooperation of our mentor and former faculty advisor professor sujit sir and our present faculty advisor uh, biswajit sir uh, even though there is a long way to go but our chapter has unanimously agreed to the fact that the academic year of 2019-20 was the best year for the chapter by far and with numerous national and international achievements uh, it was uh, definitely the result of uh, all the members who have been working and particularly the executive body members of 2019-20 and 2021 and uh, being chosen as the host of SRC 2020 was the most uh, cherished and an emotional moment for the entire chapter i'm really glad that in this challenging situation of 2020 our chapter stood on to the responsibility of hosting the SRC virtually accepting the new normal Uh, though it's like a very new experience be it for the participants or the organizing team uh, i feel that the organizing team has really worked very hard uh, to stand on to the expectations of the conference so a big shout out for the entire organizing team who has contributed so much to make this conference a very successful one 
and believe me uh, all the participants you are actually fortunate enough to have got the chance to experience something that would not have happened in the usual circumstances and also to hear from some of the distinguished personalities uh, from the field of chemical engineering beat fogler sir datta sir or uh, sanjil sir so i hope all of you had a really amazing experience uh, with prajwalit src 2020 and uh, thank you for believing in our chapter and entrusting us with the responsibility of hosting src uh, 2020 also thank you to all the juniors for inviting me to the closing ceremony uh, yeah stay safe and take care thanks a lot thank you ma'am for that speech and actually it was our pleasure to have you here with us um, so next uh, after manisha ma'am karan sir took over the reins of our club is the person we all look up to in our club he was the recipient of the international student chapter leadership development award he has been a member of the esc and if i keep going on it may take the entire night so without further ado karan bhai i would like to call you to address the attendees uh, thank you so much siddharth for the excellent introduction so good evening everyone honorable members of the panel and dear participants it gives me immense pleasure to address you all tonight in the closing ceremony of prajwalit 2020 the annual student regional conference the south asia student regional conference of aicha at the aicha nitr student chapter hosting a student regional conference was always a dream for us right from 2018 when the first src was organized in india as i speak to all of you tonight i am reminded of the enthusiastic excited and happy faces of all our student members when i came out of the presidents and esc meeting in the src last year i informed them that this dream is going to come true in 2020 since then we have spent more than a year intricately planning each and every detail of src 2020 aicha and it raurkela student chapter has grown by leaps and bounds in just a few years of its existence over the years our members have proved their mettle at the university national and international levels surely by organizing a successful student regional conference we have added another feather to our cap today at this juncture i would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to our hod professor madhushree kundu and all the faculties at the department of chemical engineering and it raurkela for their support i would especially like to thank professor biswajit saha our faculty advisor for his immense help and for being a constant source of optimism inspiration and motivation for all of us i would also like to thank professor sujit sen and professor naresh thota our previous faculty advisors for the constant support to our chapter over the years i would also like to place on record my sincere thanks to all members of the previous executive board 2019-20 who have always stood with me in tough times i would also like to thank my seniors for their guidance and all the members of aicha and it raurkela for being such supportive students i would also like to take this opportunity to congratulate the conference chair my very dear friend ayushman panda the conveners shivam chaurasia and simran chauhan and the entire prajwalit team for conducting a successful prajwalit 2020 i would also like to congratulate my ever enthusiastic juniors abhishek agrawal who is the current president and his whole executive board for being excellent juniors and for their constant enthusiasm i hope all the participants enjoyed all the events of prajwalit as much as we enjoyed putting it together for all of you i hope we were able to ignite the chemical engineering spirits in your minds through prajwalit 2020 so i would not like to take a lot of your time as i know all of you are eager to listen and learn from professor h scott fogler so i would like to end my speech over here thank you so much everyone thank you thank you bhaiya for that speech but before we move on to professor fogler we still have a few speeches left um 
Okay, so Professor Sujit Sen was the first faculty advisor of AICH NITR. Through our founding years, he has carried a lantern for us, guiding us through the darkness of our own inexperiences. Thank you, sir, for all your help. And now I would like to request you to share a few words with the audience. Yeah, good evening. Uh, am I audible? Yes, sir, you're audible. Uh, I have some issue in the laptop and so I am, I am speaking from my uh, uh, yeah, cell phone. So sorry for that. So good evening to all my students, AICG and ITR student chapter community participants of Projoli 2020. Uh, as Rahul and Karan pointed out that it came into existence back in 20, uh, 2016 when Rahul took the initiative to start the AICH and ITR student chapter and then connect it to SAC. Any student chapter under AICH requires a mentor, a faculty advisor who is also a member of AICH. I happen to be the member and very excited with the prospect of having a student chapter with the biggest chemical engineering community that is AICH here. The chapter did face a lot of problems since its inception. Rahul knows his bet, I mean, very well that there is no support uh, from the faculties, from the department and from the institute. So uh, he's the boss. Round of applause for uh, Rahul. And um, uh, without much support, uh, it is performing very well under Rahul Mohanty, Swagat Mohanty. I still remember the days when the student works day and night in my lab to prepare for the competition like Chemicar, right? So all credit goes to Rahul and his team. And then uh, I should also thank uh, Manisha, Karan, and now Avishek for not just successfully run the chapter, but inspired the young minds here to join the chapter. Since then, they brought many laurels to our institute and the department, and slowly people started to realize its big presence, right? The ICH and ITR student chapter connects the student to outside world. It is a counter, kind of outreach. The other sister community under AICH and the host organization. Through this, they develop uh, many skill, program planning skill, uh, hold educational event, networking with professional. Uh, they partner with other sister chapter, participate in regional, national, international event, learn about many emerging areas of the chemical engineering through AICH. And uh, lastly, they prepare them to enter to a challenging global environment. So there are huge uh, lot of benefit if you jo if somebody join AICHE. Uh, I still want to suggest a few things to so that it will grow more. It has all uh, it has already grown enough, and I am very happy how it is progressing. Uh, I, I personally feel you should engage the department and institute more to the chapter. Now the department and the institute realized your presence, which was earlier not there, right? And organize more events, quiz debates, uh, uh, if possible, uh, along with international sister chapters, you organize something jointly, okay? Then um, involve more and more students. I, I don't know why our AIC chapter got the status. Please see this. We should have a charter status now. Okay. We have had some events like SKMCON in the department, a national level student conference under IICHE. We have also a IEI regional center, uh, but uh, Projolis is the first ever event organized by students only. I con congratulate from my heart the AICHE and ITR Raudkela team for successfully conducting, uh, I should say, international level event because international participants are there. It is a great start and I hope they will conduct many more big events like this and connect and get connected to the outside chemical engineering community, okay? Uh, I don't want to uh, say more because uh, um, I am also eagerly waiting for Professor Fogler. My uh, favorite subject is reaction engineering. I always follow him. So I am very eager and I am thankful to this uh, 
uh, AICH team uh, student chapter that uh, uh, you somehow manage that uh, Professor Pogler will uh, say something to us. Uh, stay safe and good luck for future. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for all your praises. They really mean a lot to us. And uh, moving on, uh, Mr. Sivam Chaurasia, the convener of AICC NITR's Prajalit, has been working really hard for the success of this event. His constant guidance and useful insight have been a saving grace for us. Sivam Bhaiya, we can't thank you enough for all your help. Now it would make our day if you could just share a few words with us. I think you are muted. Am I audible, Siddharth? Yes, boy, you are audible. Okay, yes, boy. Thanks for this introduction. So, respected professors, AICIT student chapter members, and my fellow teammates, a very good evening to all of you. I am Shivam Chaurasia, convener for Prajolit. As we are heading towards the end of this first ever student, student regional conference, which is held uh, virtually, AICHE and IIT Raurkela takes pride in being its organizer. From getting our first 100 registrations within a few hours of the portal going live to having an ultimate participation of 430, we have crossed several hurdles and emerged victorious. The credit of this victory can undoubtedly be attributed to each and every person attending this conference and making it a grand success. I would like to take this opportunity to appreciate the efforts of the working team here at NIT Raurkela, who have sacrificed their endless hours for making this conference successful. In this conference, we had the pioneers of chemical engineering as our chief guests and keynote speakers who provided us with the best learning experience possible and inspired us with their words and experience. Also, the idea of virtual concert by Riddles was successfully brought into reality. And yes, we are still left with the guest lecture by H.S. Pogler. So the conference is not over yet. As a result of this conference, I'm sure that NIT Raurkela will forever have a place in your hearts. In this pandemic, we are not privileged enough to take control over everything. But still my juniors, Abhishek, Aman, Kanish, Posto, Hilal, Mohit Madhav, Mohit Mahapatra, Pritish, Pritesh, Riya, Vedant, Vishal, and all my dear juniors, who left no stones unturned. And not to mention Aishman and all my batchmates who worked selflessly for this conference. I would like to thank all of them for their contribution and I will continue to appreciate their efforts ever after. Special thanks to all our professors and faculty advisors, our head of department and NITR authorities for guidance and support. At the end, I would say that we all know that the theme was igniting the spirit of chemical engineering. It gives us the glimpse of the world that we might create. It gives us the hope that our generation might get close to the future that we all wish to see. Thank you. Thank you, Vaya, for those lovely words. Now, it was a crazy experience for us hosting a virtual SRC, but it must be equally crazy for the participants to attend one. We will now have some of the participants share their experience of attending the project. First up, we have Hetvi Rajani, uh, the vice president from MIT Pune. Um, hello, good evening, everyone. Uh, so this is Hetvi. And uh, first of all, I would really like to congratulate NIT Raurkela for conducting the virtual first ever virtual SRC and uh, you guys really did a great job at it. Like having been part of the preparations last year of SRC, we know what are the preparations that go into and the efforts that we take and conducting it on a virtual scale is a big thing. So really congratulations for that and all the other teams participating for the chapter, uh, for the SRC, really congratulations to all of y'all. It, it was really a great experience uh, in this uh, participating for this SRC and uh, thanks to NIT for constantly helping us through be it from the registrations to like all the events has been really great from 
the first opening ceremony to the president's meet all of them have been really great fun and especially the concert night so yeah it was really a great experience you guys really did a great job and hoping to meet you all in person hopefully next year thank you thank you hiti even we are looking forward to meet you all guys in person and next we have uh, chinmay gudi from bms college of engineering hi am i audible yeah yeah you are audible okay um so for the past two and a half days the only thing that's been occupying my mind is the student conference and um this was in spite of the fact that i wasn't an active participant in any of the events directly because this time i wanted to revel in the brilliance that the student conference brings out and even though it was a virtual conference um i must say i enjoyed it a lot uh, the workshops were really good matlab and aspen these are things that chemical engineers should get exposed to very early and this was this was a great uh, thing to think of so good job nit raurkela uh, also all of the events whatever that we could um, watch some of them were uploaded on youtube and it was clear that the competition was great the teams were very very competitive and it was a great event uh, i i attended pretty much all of the sessions of the src but my favorite would have to be the band concert last evening and to those of you who missed it you really did miss something uh, i would like to really congratulate uh, nit raurkela student chapter because bringing a student conference to a virtual platform and making it so seamless and so well organized must have been a very mammoth task and it seemed it it was really fun so congratulations to all of you um and i look forward to uh, collaborating with the student with nit raurkela student chapter itself and the other student chapters that have come to the conference this time thank you so much you guys did great Uh, thank you chinmay and the feelings are mutual believe me so now we will move on to the most awaited thing of this evening the guest lecture okay so before that we still have some time left before the guest lecture so we will be playing, playing the promo videos sorry uh, the event videos actually thank you Uh, good evening everyone so like uh, i would like to show you a video uh, that uh, is a chapter from aache nc state university north carolina state university have uh, sent us recently just before the conference uh, so i would uh, like to show you the video uh, just playing it in two minutes
all, we are the American Institute of Chemical Engineers, better known as ASCHG, NC State University chapter. We are located in Raleigh, North Carolina in the United States, and we are so happy to be the ASCHG sister chapter of NIT Berkella. A few of our own chapter members wanted to express our best wishes for your conference and talk a little bit about our partnership with NIT Berkella thus far. Thank you for the honor of letting us briefly speak with you all and have a role in your conference. We have the pleasure of meeting some of the members of our sister chapter at the annual AICG Student Conference in Orlando, Florida last year. Since then, we have begun further strengthening our sister chapter bond by having international meetings via Zoom and exchanging different ideas. One idea we learned from the NIT Urkella chapter was to have class level representatives for our board. We have since implemented this idea with our own chapter and have seen great results thus far. We're so excited to see what other collaborations of ideas and events will come about through this partnership. We've really enjoyed getting to know the NRT Urkella chapter. We send good luck and best wishes for the conference. Thank you. Thank you everyone uh, for uh, watching the video. I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, next on, uh, I, I would like to play a video. Like uh, you guys must be excited to visit the campus of NIT Raul Kela. Everyone knows that um, it has a uh, it has a magnific magnificent uh, campus, which which uh, we were re really excited to host you uh, in SRC 2020. But uh, we are hosting uh, hosting it virtually. So. Monday morning, the official media body of NIT Raul Kelam has made a video. So, uh, I will, I would like to share on our campus. I would like to sh share it.
might be bleak but not contained too long in clouds hang in there this too shall pass the campus awaits big thank you to the team of monday morning for this excellent video so we still have some time before professor fogler joins us so we'll be try, trying to play the last 15 minute clip of the kemi jopadi finals it was a great round of uh, pure party of quizzing and like a big congratulations to the winners so we'll be playing that now stay tuned Team two. What is workspace? What is workspace? What is one time constant? Just two negatives. Okay, so next we move on to four six hundred. Here we go. the olympic flame symbolizes this team 3 what is linked between uh, asian and modern games um, ancient and modern games what is linked between ancient and modern games okay yes what is continuity wow ashwan can we consider this I don't think so. No. Okay. So we'll face a negative point. Uh, negative is specific with whatever you want. Same answer. same thing. No. Uh, it can be continuity. Yeah. Please hold the question. Can I please display the question? Yeah. That's all. Okay, so uh, what 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 was the answer told by them? It was told that continued uh, link between uh, ancient and modern Olympics. I guess it is correct. Uh, the Olympic claim symbolizes uh, continuity between ancient and modern games. Is the answer? Uh, so okay, we, we can consider that. Answer. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you can choose the next question. Game three. PDC thousand. All right. This temperature has the same numerical value in Fahrenheit and Kelvin scales. Team four. What is five seventy four point five nine? Okay, let us see. Five seventy four point four. You told. Five seventy four point five nine. I said. Ah, five nine. Five nine. It was told. Okay. Okay. So, next question. Team four. 
Yes, 800. 800. Okay. Sandy Storm is the autobiography of which veteran cricketer? Team three. Who was Sandy Patil? Who was Sandy Patil? Okay. Yeah, you're correct. Congratulations. So this is the final question. So let us see who gets it. The name of S Vijay Lakshmi is famous in this games or sports. Team one. What is badminton? Okay, so you answered it after after time. Okay, so I'll not take that answer. Not okay. I guess it's okay. Not okay. Yes, yes, we have got that. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so all the things are ready. I hope. Can move to final part. All the best, everyone. So enter your wagers. Yeah, something's. I can't get to my screen. I've got your screen on. Okay, now let me go. Uh, screen share. hello hello yeah good evening sir uh, yeah uh, good evening sir uh, i i am seeing that you have already started the presentation but we would like to first introduce you to our audience though you don't need an introduction but still we want to do that so if you could give us that chance okay you uh, you don't see my face for some reason no sir you are visible i am Yes, sir. You are okay. All right, I'm ready to go. Okay, sir. But, okay, we can wait till uh, we can wait yes. five minutes. No, sir. It will just take a minute. So basically, it is X. Okay, we have a very special dignity here. X. Shorath uh, and Siddharth, I think can continue with his introduction. Shorath, I think you're muted. I'm muted. No, no sir, sir, you're audible. Audio. You're audible. audible. Uh, Shorath, could you please unmute your mic? You know my system is hanging. Yes, sorry, dear audience. Please go on with the introduction. Sorry for the interruption. Now we have a very special dignity here with us today. He is the eminent guest of the eminent guest of the conference. Professor S. Scott Fogler is the M. and Catherine Bellinger Professor of Chemical Engineering and the Arthur F. Taylor Professor at the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor. And was the 2009 national president of the American Institute of Chemical Engineering. He received his B.S. from University of Illinois and his M.S. and Ph.D. from the University of Colorado. Scott and his students are well known for their work on the application of chemical reaction engineering principles to the petroleum industry. He has graduated 48 PhDs and they have published over 250 research articles in areas such as acidization of petroleum wells, gelatin kinetics of wax deposition in subsea pipelines, and aspartate methylation and deposition kinetics. In 1996, Scott was the recipient of the Warren T. Lewis Award and the American Institute of Chemical Engineering for contribution to chemical. Education and he is the recipient of 15 main lectureships. If I'll continue, then it will take a lot of time. So that's it for a small introduction for you. You can start. Yes, now you can proceed. Please.
Uh, Professor Fogler, we request you to continue. Oh, hey, welcome everybody on this uh, nice, bright Sunday morning here in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Um, thank you for inviting me. And I'm going to tell you briefly what I've been working on the last three years uh, in chemical engineering. And that is bringing uh, process safety uh, into chemical engineering. Uh, <clears throat> process safety, the main thing is to anticipate, anticipate, anticipate. Anticipate what could go wrong, what could prevent the accidents, and then doing uh, things that you can do uh, that will, will prevent them. The father of process safety is considered uh, Professor Trevor Kletz in the UK. And what I'd like to have you do and make sure you get is the link to my process safety website. And then you can get in and see all the materials that I'm gonna talk to you about now. Now, it's interesting <clears throat> that just a handful of people can cause disastrous uh, consequences because <clears throat> they didn't understand the principles, uh, things like runaway reactions and such. And so we have to make sure that all our students are educated in the area of process safety. And the best way to prevent future disaster is understand and to effectively and safely design, operate, and to troubleshoot chemical processes. Now, here's the uh, predicament. In the United States, uh, safety is sometimes taught, taught as a single course, maybe three hours. But this is only done in about maybe a third of the university. And so, uh, not all the students get that. In fact, at the University of Michigan, uh, we have a process safety course that's here and you see the syllabus. Now we have 120 seniors in the class. How many do you think took this process safety course uh, with these outlines? They talked, uh, they had guest speakers to talk about hazards um, and uh, procedures and human reliability. So they had uh, a a two hour course once a week uh, for the, uh, the seniors. Now, how many out of that 120 uh, do you think took that course? <clears throat> I, I didn't answer the question. The, the question was that only 14 students out of 120 took the course on chemical process safety. And that's about the same as other universities. So a very small uh, fraction of the students are getting training in process safety. And it's my feeling, and my initiative has been to integrate process safety. Hello? Excuse me, the sir. Equation. Yes. Hello? I'm sorry to interrupt you, sir, but we are having a slight technical difficulty with your PPT, with your presentation. Uh, it's not uh, visible clearly. So our own panelists would like to share that. So if you could wait a minute, we will share it from our system. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. You can hear me okay? Yes, sir. You're audible. Very clearly. Yes, sir, you're audible. Can I record that and have you quote you on that? Let me know when you're ready. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, we are good to go now. Okay, so uh, how, how are we gonna do the slides? Can I, uh, can I control the slides? No, I can't control the slides. No, so you can't, but uh, you can navigate can move along with you, sir. Okay. Uh, Abhishek, uh, like, can you give the access, the remote control access to sir? Is it possible for you? I guess. Let me Is see. It? Yeah, you can give it. Uh, obviously, just try to give the control to. Yeah, yeah that's what I did. Advanced. Yeah, I have given. I have given the control. Uh, sir, could you just check if you are, uh, if you can navigate the presentation, at your end? No, it doesn't look like I can. Okay. Oh, there. Wait. Oh, ho. Oh. Who did you do that or did I do that? Sir, you. I guess you did that. Sir, we didn't do. We didn't do. Okay, so I did. Okay, so uh, I think this is where we left off. Okay, here we go. This is yes, where we yes. left off. Let's see if I can do this. And basically, this is what the two-hour course. My question to you is, out of 120 seniors at Michigan, how many you think took this course? 
and it was only 10 to 14 every year. So we're reaching a very small percentage of our students and training them in chemical process safety. Uh, <clears throat> so the, the initiative I have is basically to incorporate process safety into every lecture course in chemical engineering. So here are the basic courses that we have and most universities have. The first year you have material and energies, thermodynamics, fluid mechanics. The second year in the fall, you have heat and mass separations. In the winter term, you have reaction engineering. And then the senior year, you have process dynamics. So those are the um, uh, uh, classes we have uh, throughout. So as I said, 120 senior, only 10 to 14 every year. And it's pretty much the same at other schools. So people are not getting the training they need in chemical process safety. <clears throat> uh, as I, I said that. So I developed this, this website. It actually... A lot of the people from a lot of the students from IIT Bombay participated in its development, and uh, over the over the last three years, they came to Ann Arbor for the summer, and they worked on the modules with me, and uh, then they uh, finished. Spent, and most of them wound up in going to graduate school. But basically, what we did is develop this website here. Now let's look at the three columns we have for the website. On the left-hand side, you have the core courses. If you click on one of those, you'll get to the module for that course. In the middle, we have tutorials, starting with the NFPA and the GHS diagrams, the Swiss cheese model. In the right-hand side, we have extra resources, the safety beacon, and so on. So let's look at those columns uh, first. Now, uh, what is a module? A module consists of viewing the Chemical Safety Board video. And this is a very good technique for students. They get to see a video of actually what happened and how it happened. After they viewed the video, they have to dissect it. They have to say, what was the activity? Uh, what were they doing? Whoops. Uh, go back. Okay, here we are. So they, they, they have to say, what is the activity? Then they have to do the NFAP di uh, diamond that tells, you know, what are the hazards when they enter. And then using the safety analysis, they do a bow tie diagram, which I'll talk about. And finally, the last component of the safety module, module for that course is a calculation specific to that particular course, whether it's thermal fluids or separations. Yeah. There we go, next slide. Uh, there we go. Okay, so here are all the tutorials that you have. So the middle column is tutorials on uh, basic things like the, the fire triangle, safety analysis, and uh, critical thinking to safety and so on. Next slide uh, shows the analysis. We ask, what is the activity? What is the hazard? And I'll come back and say this over and over again. What was the initiating event? What could you have done to prevent it? Okay, you couldn't prevent it. What can you do to mitigate the actions? And then finally, what did you learn from this accident that'll help you in the future? So here are the definitions. What is the activity? What's the hazard? Uh, what happened? Uh, this one here is initiating the event. What caused, what was it initiated? Did you have to have one or more things? As we'll see in the propane example, you had to have two things happen. You had to have the gas escaping from the cylinders, but then you had to have it find a, a spark. So you have to say, what was the initiating event? Next, you say, what could you have done to prevent the accident? <clears throat> and we'll look at that. Then you have the contingency plan. Okay, you didn't prevent it. What could you do to make it not have a big effect? And then finally, what did you learn? So the first thing we'll talk about is the NFAP diagram. And that says, what are the hazards for health um, and, and others that you identify? The, the NFPA is, is primarily used in the United States. But what we're going to more recently is what's used in Europe and probably in India is the uh, a globally harmonized system, the GHSH system, which has nine pictorials starting, you know, <clears throat> um, as, as they're, that are shown there. And these, the particular pictorial is put on the, the vessel that's transporting the 
the chemical or it's put on uh, the equipment. So this is, this is what's now we're, we're moving to. It'll be a few years before we get there. Um, the other thing is the Swiss cheese model. You might have certain things you, you, that can print it. You, the first thing there can prevent some things. Then you have uh, other things, but there's holes. And what happens is if, certain, if all these holes align, you have all these preventative measures <coughs> that if those line up, they can go through and they can cause the uh, event and the consequences. <clears throat> the next thing you, you do, and, and this is what I hope you take away uh, from it, is the, is the bow tie diagram. Uh, <clears throat> so on the left-hand side, you brainstorm and you say all the things, hey, what could go wrong? What are all the things that could go wrong with this, this uh, piece of equipment or this operation? Then you, what could I do to prevent it? And then you say, what's that? And the, hazard and initiating event. So the event happens and then what could you do to mitigate it? And if you didn't mitigate it, what is the consequence? So let's, let's look at the, um, uh, one, the, go back to the homepage. Now, what I would like to make sure you do that um, uh, Karen and Bijan apply, give to you, make sure that they have this website, that they, uh, the URL for the website, then they can go in and do it on their own. And they'll, they'll want to, at the end, I'll show you some funny, well, I'll show you one funny thing. But then they can go in and explore it more on their own. So let's look at thermodynamics. So you click on that, and we have a couple modules here. The one we're going to talk about is the Proxair uh, uh, incident that occurred in St. Louis, Missouri. So they click on this. Here's the module that they'll get. They'll read, you'll, you'll read up here about it. And then you come down here and you'll click on the video. <laughs> Chemical safety board. On a scorching day in June 2005, propylene gas, venting from a cylinder at a compressed gas filling and distribution facility, ignited, setting off fires and explosions that lasted five hours. On June 24, 2005, St. Louis was experiencing a heat wave. The high temperature that day was recorded at 97 degrees. At Praxair, thousands of compressed gas cylinders containing highly flammable products such as propylene, propane, and acetylene were stored outside in the direct sunlight. As the sunlight beat down on the cylinders, heat also radiated from the asphalt, driving up the temperature and pressure of the gases inside the cylinders. At about 3.20 p.m., Increasing pressure inside one cylinder activated its pressure relief valve. Gas pushed against the spring-loaded plug, allowing propylene to flow around it. Gas moved past the spring, out of the valve, and through openings in the cylinder cap. The propylene vented to the outside air and formed a flammable vapor cloud around the top of the cylinder. A static charge, created by the venting propylene, most likely ignited the vapor. A Praxair security camera recorded the vapor release and ignition. The vapor begins escaping from the cylinder seconds before 3.20 p.m. It ignites immediately. An employee sees the fire and sounds the alarm. Within 30 seconds, the fire is spreading rapidly, heating surrounding cylinders, causing them to vent gas, adding more fuel to the flames. Just over one minute after the initial vapor release, smoke begins to darken the facility as the fire rapidly grows out of control. 90 seconds into the incident, the camera records blinding flashes as cylinders begin to explode. Cylinders begin rocketing through the air, further spreading the fire. Okay, now having watched that video, um, the students now are asked to fill out this safety uh, analysis uh, of the, the incident uh, solely from the video. But there is another resource there. You saw the incident report on the two pages before. If they're having difficulty, they can go back and click. But they should, they should be able to get everything they need from, uh, from the video, and they can go back and watch it um, if they want. So the first thing is, the what is the activity? It's, uh, pro storage of propylene cylinders outdoors in the sun. A hazard is it's a flammable. The incident is, was the pressure in the storage tanks reaching the set point. 
which vented the propylene gas out to the uh, uh, air. Initiating event, the leakage of the propylene and finding the emission source. Preventative actions. Okay, so now you, you sort of look back and said, what could we do to prevent this? Well, we could have checked the pressure relief valves uh, more routinely. Uh, and uh, we could have also uh, maybe covered the cylinders, put them under shade. <clears throat> What's some contingency action? Okay, it happened. Now, what could we prevent it from storing, from uh, of causing more damage? Well, maybe you should have put the cylinders farther apart, or you should have had uh, barriers between some of the cylinders. And the lessons learned <clears throat> from this essence is that many pressure relief valves are susceptible to mechanical failure and release at lower pressures than desired. So the next thing is then a calculation. In, in thermodynamics, the students are asked to calculate the pressure inside the cylinder. Now, uh, some people might try to use the ideal gas law, and that would show a very low pressure. But you have a two-phase system here. So you have to use the Clausius-Clapeyron equation, where the pressure varies exponentially with temperature, or the sh shortcut equation. So they carry out this calculation and uh, then uh, turn that in to the, um, uh, to the things. Then they also have to do the NFPA diagram. The materials, what is that? Uh, what level of, of um, hazard are they? Uh, and, and so on. So the NFAP diagram. Uh, then we come to the bow tie diagram. And this is what you should now, if you go to a chemical process you're working on, say you go in, they show you a, a situation, and you say to your supervisor, let me do a bow tie diagram on that. So the first thing you, you do is you brainstorm all the things that go wrong, and that's on the left-hand side over here. Uh, in this case, it's uh, what has been preventative action, routine checking of the uh, relief valves, replacement of the valves, and so on. Uh, uh, extreme heat, well, maybe they could have prevented, maybe could, they could have put them under a storage uh, shelter, and maybe they could add a cooling system. Then you have the uh, uh, gas leak and the initiating event, and gas is related. So what are the mitigating actions? Maybe they could have had a gas detector. Uh, something. Maybe they could have had the gas, gas detector to do that. So here, and here's, and here's the calculation they do <coughs> for, the, the, um, for this module to calculate the pressure inside the cylinder and using both the classes Clapeyron equation and the shortcut equation. <coughs> so let me, let's, let's do, uh, th this one I'm not going to go into too much. It's another, it's the williams Owens Oliphant plant. Um, and basically it's a heat exchanger in which they didn't connect the relief valves properly. Now here's what I'm talking about before. You can watch the video, but then you say, I want a little more information. So then you can go and read the incident report if you need help in filling out. One, the first thing you fill out is the safety analysis and then the, the GHS and the MFPA and then the um, uh, bow tie diagram. So after this, let's look at this one. June 13, 2013, the williams geismar Olefins plant in Geismar, Louisiana, a heat exchanger violently ruptured, causing an explosion and fire that killed two workers. The Chemical Safety Board launched an investigation and issued a case study. In it, the agency describes a number of process safety management program deficiencies at Williams, which set the stage for the incident. In particular, the CSB found that the heat exchanger that failed was completely isolated from its pressure relief valve. When pressure inside the heat exchanger dangerously increased, there was nothing to stop a catastrophic rupture. And again, you go through the safety analysis of what is the activity, the hazard, and the incident, and uh, so on. And then you do your bow tie diagram of uh, what could have uh, uh, occurred. They could have had routine maintenance and then overpressure detection systems and so on would be the mitigating. 
So the, the concept here is there's two things. There's what could have prevented it. Okay, that didn't prevent it. What could have mitigated it? What could have made it less? So those are things you should, we should be able to do with any process safety uh, things. In uh, this one here, they could have done a, a heat transfer analysis on the, um, <clears throat> the system and found out you know, if there's insulation there, uh, at what point would uh, the insulation be uh, gives it heat up more? And again, they can calculate, again, this one's the same as thermal, what's the pressure inside the, the uh, heat exchanger? And you can see it's very high. Okay, uh, we're gonna go to one more industrial example. And this one is in the, my reaction engineering book. Um, and I think a lot, most, a number of universities in India do use it. And the sixth edition just came out. And um, it's, it's an ebook. And in the ebook, you can just read it online, have everything there. So what's different in the sixth edition? Well, I tried to put a few more jokes in the book because um, I think learning should be fun, should not be tedious. And the second of thing, there's more emphasis on safety. And so this particular analysis is in the in previous editions, but it's also in the, the sixth edition. <coughs> On December 19, 2007, a powerful explosion and fire occurred at T2 Laboratories, a small chemical producer in Jacksonville, Florida. The blast killed and injured workers, destroyed T2 Laboratories, and extensively damaged four nearby businesses. Windows blew into offices, striking workers with flying glass. So uh, what, what, what the initial problem here was, if you look at the, the book, there was a secondary reaction that took off. There was something in there. The solvent itself became a reactant when it got to the higher temperature. And it was the solvent uh, in, uh, reacting and decomposing so that caused that massive uh, explosion. But here, here's, here's the thing, folks. What I really want you to do with these living example problems, they're all on the website, and you should definitely go to the website, because there I have all the example problems in my book. Now they're all in Polymath, they're in MATLAB, they're in Wolfram, and they're Python. And all you have to do is click on which one you want to use. Now with respect to Wolfram and Python, that's free to students. You just have to take an, a, a three or four minutes to download them, from the Wolfram and the Python website. But uh, you get them free, so you can use them. Polymath, uh, if your university subscribes to Polymath, which most do, you can use that. And MATLAB, well, that's an issue. Uh, most universities, our university, does have that free to students, but uh, I'm not sure uh, how they are in India. But certainly, uh, Wolfram and Python, you can get on your own. And then you, then you wanna go in and play with examples. You say, you know, what had happened uh, if, if this, what if I had stopped the temperature from rising above 400 degrees? Would everything been okay? And so you can play with the solution and find out what are the conditions in which the uh, explosion would not occur. Okay, <clears throat> now you come to one of my uh, pet things, and that's critical thinking. And it, I, at Michigan, I try to get my students to really think critically about everything. And this is a case history. Here we have this storage tank, and this comes from BSAF, and I worked with Steve Young on this in preparing uh, this module. They, they have the storage tank sitting out there, and they think there's corrosion under, uh, there's, there's corrosion occurring under the insulation. Well, that's a big thing uh, uh, that if it occurs. And so the question is, what, what should we do about it? And if we are to remove the corrosion or the, the insulation and look for corrosion, you'd have to set, shut down the entire operation. And this would be costly, very costly, about $5 million. million. So what I asked everybody to do in this case is apply critical thinking. Well, what is critical thinking? Well, for that, I use R.W. Paul's uh, six sites of uh, Socratic questions. Critical thinking is the process we use to recognize underlying assumptions, scrutinize arguments,
question problem statements and solutions and interpret and assess, assess the accuracy of the information. So that's the general definition of critical thinking. Now at Michigan, I teach my students about the six types of critical thinking questions. Because Socratic questioning is at the heart of critical thinking. And there's six types that we talk about of critical thinking questions. Questions about the question, questions for clarifications, questions that probe assumptions, questions that pose reasons and evidence, questions, that pro pro uh, questions about viewpoints and perspectives, questions that probe implication and consequences. You know, that, that goes back to the mitigation aspects. You know, what would happen if it occurred? So let's, let's go briefly through this. There's a lot of uh, things, and I'll let you leave you this to uh, go through this on your own on the website. So I'll just start off and just do a couple of these. The first is question about the question. Uh, and the purpose of this question is to determine why the question was asked, who asked it, and why the question or problem needs to be solved. Maybe you don't need to do anything. <clears throat> uh, example phrases. What is the main question you want to answer? What is the point of this question? Now for this example, uh, for the uh, knowing whether you should remove all the insulation to check for corrosion, which would cost $5 million if, if you did it, and they, think, and they did it. Uh, why do you think I question you about the corrosion under the insulation, considering the tank is only 10 years old? So that would be a question about the question. And these are the type of questions that you want, you want to ask. Questions for clarification. What do you mean by that? What information do we need to answer this question? Uh, for this example, are there industry identified case histories about corrosion occurring under insulation? Question about the assumption. The purpose of this question is to identify any misleading or false assumptions. Why do we, what do we assume instead? How does one verify or disapprove that assumption? For this example, how do you assume stripping the insulation was the only method to check for um, the uh, corrosion? Questions that pose reasons and evidence. The purpose of this question is to explore whether the facts and observations support uh, the assertion. The one, now, you want to always remember uh, phrases. And, you know, somebody's giving a presentation, they make a declarative statement. And a good question to the presenter then, well, what would be an example? Uh, and I always ask that. What would be an example? <clears throat> in this case, what evidence do you have that corrosion may have occurred in this tank in the last 10 years? Questions about viewpoints and perspectives. The purpose of this question is to learn how things are viewed or judged and consider things not only in the relative perspective, but also as a whole. Uh, now for this one, the question phrase I want you to uh, remember is the first one there. You just heard a presentation and somebody has tried to make their point. And so you could ask them, okay, I see that point. Now, can you give me a counter argument for what you just said? <clears throat> uh, for the safety example, what are the counter arguments for taking off all the insulation and uh, inspecting the tank? And finally, the last type of critical thinking questions there's questions that probe uh, implications and consequences. The purpose of this question is to help understand their inferences and de uh, deductions and the end result if the inferred action is carried out. And the number one question, what are the consequences if the assumption turns out to be false? <clears throat> In this particular case, what are the consequences of ethylene oxide leaking into the atmosphere on people, equipment, or the environment? So those are the six types of critical thinking questions that um, I want you to get in the habit of using. And you could do that. So you go to a, a plant and they have this and you start to ask uh, questions like that about the process you've been assigned. And you go out, you want to do a bow tie. This will really impress your employer if you say, go out there and say, you know, you know what, why do we do this and so on. So I'd encourage you to learn the six types of critical thinking questions, but more importantly, some of those key phrases. Can you give me an example? Can you give me a counter argument? And things like for that, the phrases you can ask. Okay, the last thing I wanna talk about today then is laboratory safety. And I'll have to let you look at all these on your own. I'm gonna do uh, one of these. So in the laboratory safety, I have 
uh, a number of videos. These video, most of these videos were prepared by the electrical engineering department at the University of Michigan. Electrical engineering, and these are used in chemical process safety. Yes, for you sure. Electrical engineering now is doing a lot of nanofabrication and uh, use, using chemicals and such. So here are the, the, the safety modules I'd like to you to look at at your own time. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the sloppy lab, evacuate, uh, eating in the lab, and so on. <laughs> Ugh, these stupid goggles, I can't see a thing out of them. Ah, uh, much better. Huh? Ah! <laughs> okay, so the others are just are, are equal in there. And um so you, I, at your own time, view those. And uh, also on there, I have a couple things from uh, the chemical engineering publications of AICHE. And they are the uh, uh, CCPS Safety Beacons, Chemical uh, uh, Council for Process Safety, CCPS, and the Chemical Engineering Progress magazine that's given to all members of the American Institute of Chemical Engineers. So, uh, in there, you, you can have access to the safety beacons that are uh, course specific by going and looking and reading them. Um, so here's a process safety beacon. Uh, what, what was the incident? What do you know? They're very, very quick one page reads. So you, you can uh, do that and then answer questions. So let's look what the students uh, felt uh, about these modules. So at the end of the uh, thing, the department hired a learning educator, uh, uh, Laura Hirschfield, and she's a PhD and she's in the education part of teaching in the College of Engineering. She's a chemical engineer, PhD from Purdue, BS from University of Michigan. And she uh, then surveyed the students and what they found and what they liked and they didn't like about the modules. Well, they liked them pretty well, it turns out. Uh, some of the comments, it was insightful to learn and see concepts when safety factors are not considered. Uh, uh, it was uh, the helpful experience helped me begin my study of safety in the context of chemical engineering. The safety module was interesting. It was cool to see what happens in class and has an immediate impact in the real world. I think it was an interesting way to apply what we are learning in class to a real world example, specifically safety, which we don't get a lot of in the classes. <clears throat> so those were the uh, people that worked on that. And the conclusions were the uh, students view a number of videos and analyze them. The re reoccurring safety algorithms of NF NFPA and bowtie diagrams instill a safety mindset. Every student has safety training rather than a small fraction of the class. Uh, the student sees disastrous consequence when safety conditions are violated and the accident occurs. Uh, and these modules received a very positive response uh, from the class and the 90% of the class were uh, enthusiastic uh, uh, for them. So it's about time to stop because if you don't stop in time, you have dis disastrous questions uh, of disastrous consequences. And at this point, I would uh, say, are there, are there any questions? Well, it's been fun talking to you. Uh, not sure how the transmission came through. Here I am relaxed on a, on a, on a, Sunday, uh, a Sunday morning in my home. As you can see, it's very dark where you are right now. Uh, I know because it's, uh, uh, late in the in the evening, <clears throat> and I've I've had many PhDs from uh, India, uh, starting with Pramod Chinki. And you'll notice if you go to chapter uh, nine in your book, you'll see 
Pramod Chinky's PhD thesis is uh, referenced there. And Pramod, after he uh, he's, uh, finished his studies with me, he met a woman in graduate school, which he married. And uh, then now they are living in Toronto, uh, Canada. Their two daughters are, of course, grown. One is a writer. But I've had many, many PhDs. <coughs> uh, Rama Venkatasan, uh, Prabhjot Singh, uh, 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 Tabish McCool, uh, and, and so on. And they've all done great jobs in my, uh, in my lab over the years. So um, anyway, that's, that's all I have to say. Um, I had, if and any, anything you want to say or want to do is, is, is fine with me. I, I have uh, nothing really more to, uh, to talk about and enjoyed seeing you. And I hope, I hope you enjoyed my book. Also in the sixth edition, I said there's more jokes. And I talk more about the country of Jovistan. Now, you know where Jovistan is, right? Everybody, the students in Jovistan are amazing chemical reactions in the air. They have, the students there from uh, Jovistan and Enrique Jovistan and Professor Kutloff, who's the professor there, wonderful, best professor in the world. They never make a mistake on a reaction engineering problem. They get everything perfectly right. And so you really want to hook up with the students from uh, uh, Jovistan. And uh, if you don't know where Jovistan, look it up. You can link to it on my website and so on like that. But it's a country with wonderful, wonderful chemical reaction engineering students. Okay, uh, I'll answer any questions or uh, Karen or uh, Rahul or Abshik, uh, if you have any uh, questions. Actually, the webmaster, I don't know if you noticed, his last name is Agarwal. Um, uh, that's done all the, the web for this. Thank you so much. A-R-A-V Agrawal. Thank you so much. We are really honored to have you, sir. Uh, I would like to introduce you to Professor Sujit Sen, sir. He is our reaction engineering uh, professor at NIT Raulkela. He is present, uh, here with, uh, present here with us on the panel. So we hear from him in our in university, reaction engineering, and today we got a chance to have you both on the same stage. Okay, good evening, sir. Yeah, probably good morning to you. Yep, it's uh, yeah. 11, 11.33. Okay, okay. So I think uh, our student must have realized that the importance of safety uh, in chemical engineering. Uh, my question is, uh, the NIT Raurkela student, can they register the course? through this uh, website, like oh, I no. in Mumbai did. No, you can, you, it's, it's free to everybody. Um, and if you're a professor involved in the course, uh, I can send you the access code to get in. I don't want to give it to the students, then they'll have all the answers without working okay, okay. too hard. And I, uh, I'm not yeah. further. So anyway, it, I, er, er, everybody can access. And I think you have, I gave the, uh, earlier I, I, I talked, oh, we had a pre-Zoom uh, conference with um, uh, Rahul, is that right, Rahul? Pronouncing that right, Rahul? Yes, sir. Yeah. it's Rahul. Yeah. Is that right? Ka yes. Karen, I guess uh, that. And Abshik, right? Yes, so, sir, yes. Uh, we had a conference and I told them to make sure all the students had access to this website. It's free. Okay, okay. even I am very much interested uh, to know much more about this. Okay, it's been so the last three years of my, it's been the last three yeah. years of my life. Okay, sir. Another question: uh, the, for the uh, doing PhD under you, what is the procedure? Well, it's it's no possibility. Uh, I turn eighty one in in uh, fifteen days, and I'm not okay. taking any more students. Okay, 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 sir. Okay, th thanks, and I hope but, but, you... But, but, but you can come to the University of Michigan. There's one of my great colleagues, uh, <clears throat> Brian Goldsmith, uh, Naharala uh, Singh, who was an undergraduate at Michigan and then went on and got his PhD at the University of California of Santa Barbara. He's now my colleague, and he's the one that's teaching reaction engineering now. So if you send me an email, I can put you in contact with uh, Naharala. Okay. Some of my students are very lucky to meet you. I have not met you. 
yeah, but I I wish I can meet you in near future. Yeah, as soon as this, I I haven't been out of my house in seven months. I got to go. I had to go pick up a book two times at my office, and I had to register and get permission ahead of time, telling the exact time I was going to show up, uh, so they would let me in and I could go in and. Uh, uh, get the book and then come back home. Outside of that, I've been stuck, uh, stuck in my uh, home for the last seven and a half months. Well, seven months, I guess. Okay. So I hope I I wish you stay safe and live uh, longer, so that uh, we can uh, learn a lot of things from you in future as well. Yeah. So does my wife. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you, sir. That's all from me. Thank you so much, sir. Over to Siddharth. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. thank you a lot. All of us were in splits for the last two minutes. And I'm so sorry. What did now, you What did you say in the last two minutes? No, sir. Last two minutes, all of us were in splits, laughing. You have good sense of humor, sir. No. Really good. So you, so you 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 catch you catch all my uh, there's more jokes in the sixth edition which came out two months ago, and uh, you see okay. if you can, you can catch those. Um, yes, I'll try my best. <laughs> oh, oh, also in the preface of the next edition, near near the end of the preface, there's something that's in italics. It's a paragraph. Now, um, do you know anything about cryptograms? You know what a cryptogram is. It's something uh, no, sorry, you have to. It, it's something you have to dissect. So you'll read that paragraph, and you'll say, "Oh, this is crazy," but then you have to find out uh, what it is, like maybe taking the first letter of every word or something like that, and then decoding it. Yes, sir. Try that. All of us are done. Institute. I'm sorry. Thank you again, sir, for your speech. No, all of uh, us at the institute will try decoding that, sir. So we have some questions uh, for on the queen. Uh, Siddharth, if you can ask the questions, sir. Please. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. So we have a question from Ashish Kumar Om Prakash. I quote the question: Can you please enlighten us a bit on use of artificial intelligence techniques in safety assessment and methods to contain, contain or eliminate and manage the hazard? Well, I think that our artificial intelligence is putting things like the safety algorithm online. And this had a lot of work. Like if you had the, the prox error things, if, if you had that in there, this uh, artificial intelligence could ask you questions about prox error. When's the last time you checked the cylinders and things like that? You know, but writing something like that up is, is a big task. And maybe it would be a, close to a master's thesis or PhD to take one piece of equipment and ask the questions that would be uh, artificial intelligence type that are that are asked and used. You know, you know where you have artificial intelligence showing up the most now is in when you type an email. If you type an email, and it'll finish your sentences for you sometimes. So thank you, sir, for that answer. I hope it clears your doubt, Ashish Bhai. And so that will be the end of the guest lecture. Thank you, sir, for having us. And we are, we were, it was our honor to have you here and give us the great guest lecture. Thank you, sir. Well, I've, thank I've, you always, so I've always loved interacting with students of India. I loved my visit to India, Bombay, Udaipur. Uh, Delhi and, and and so on and Agra of course, um, but uh, uh, and Kanpur. Um, so I've always lived my my trips to India have been very meaningful to my wife and myself, and just getting to know the students that uh, come to my lab and that I meet in uh, India as well. So thank you very much for inviting me, and have a a good night and stay safe. Thank you so much, sir, for accepting our invitation. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. It was a pleasure to listen to you. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Okay, so uh, now we'll move on to the price distribution. 
uh, I would like to call, uh, I would like to invite uh, Shivam Bhaiya to declare the winners of, uh, to declare the winners of uh, STPC competition and the KMJ party. Uh, Aman, please share the slide that we had. Is the slide visible? Uh, yes, Ayushman, yes. it is. Yeah, it is. Shivam, you can start. Shivam? Hello? Yeah. So, so am I going to announce? Yeah. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so for the Kemi Jeopardy, the runners up are MIT Pune and the members were Anuj Todkar, Sonakshi Daga, Soham and Hetvi Rajnani. Cheers for them, guys. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations, Congratulations guys. Congratulations, everyone. And for the winners, we have Ahmedabad University and the members were Soumya Parekh, Sagar Shah, Parva Rawal, Yash Makwana. A huge round of applause for these Congratulations, guys. Congratulations, boys. Congratulations. Congratulations, guys. They will be getting the prize money from AICHE directly. Okay. No. Shiva. And for STPC, and the second runners up are Team Dioxin, BUET Bangladesh, and the members are Muspekur Rahman, SM Abu Naim. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations, guys. And the first runners up are Team Cheers, NIT Rawakela. And the only member was Ashish Kumar Om Prakash. Congratulations. Congratulations, congratulations. And the winners, Team Blue Power, ICT IOC Bhuvneshwar, Jyotishman Rat. A huge round of applause. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations. Okay, so the prize money of STPC will also be given by AICC directly. Now coming to Kemi uh, Safe, the runners up are uh, Team Safety Map from BUET Bangladesh. The captain is Cynthia Rashid, Anika Bushra, Afia Subnan, Subhani. The prize money is Rs. 3000. Congratulations, uh, guys. Congratulations, guys. You were awesome, actually. Now coming to the winners of Chemisafe, they are Team Cheers and ID Rautela. It is Ashish Kumar and Karan Saxena. Congratulations. You will be getting a prize money of 5,000 rupees. Congratulations, congratulations, Karan Bhaiya. Congratulations. Congratulations, Karan Bhaiya and Ashish Bhaiya. Congratulations, Bhaiya. Okay, so now coming to K-12 STEM competition. Uh, the runners up are Team Symphony of Spoon, NIT Rautela, Siddhant Mohanty, Pritesh Tikshit, Utkarsh Mishra, 
सौभाग्य कुमार परिडा कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन गाइस यू विल बी गेटिंग ए प्राइज मनी ऑफ रुपीज थ्री थाउजेंड वेल डन चांस कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन जूनियर्स थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच now coming to the uh, winners of uh, k12 outreach they are team code red from pit vellore they are uh, the the members are adamya patel sritik dash vaikunth ramaswami and abhimanyu milan they have won a prize money of rupees 5000 congratulations congratulations guys you are awesome the topic was out of the box congratulations guys one of the yeah. best dadas were really impressed with your topic uh, i was also personally impressed okay so we will go to mass congrats on that okay so now uh, coming to the most awaited uh, prize of the evening that is the uh, best student chapter of, of the conference we have taken into consideration the number of participants from the uh, from the particular uh, chapter their prize uh, their winners in winners or runners up in most of the events and they are Bangladesh University of Engineering and Technology, and they are getting a cash prize of five thousand rupees. Congratulations, guys! Congratulations, guys! Congratulations, guys! You deserve it. You people deserve it. Our neighbors from Bangladesh University of Engineering and Technology. It was really an honor. Thank you, guys. Okay. Yes, so it was really think... great to have international international participants as well, and maximum number of participants were from them. Were from the were from B U E T. So congratulations, guys. Uh, guys, please hang on. Do not leave the meeting. We have we have oh. something there. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Over to the host. So uh, okay. So now here from uh, here who is the president of uh, uh, Ahmedabad University? They are going to be. Okay, they are going to host the SRC 2021. So I would like to invite him to speak a few words. Head over to you. Thank you, Ajman. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Head Babu, and I am the current president of the AICHE Ahmedabad University Student Chapter. I was glad I was given this platform to speak at this occasion. Firstly, I would like to thank NIT Rorkela for working this hard and organizing such a conference. in a very short time and i personally always feared what the situation would be when we first had our first lockdown in march like what would the situation of our rscs be and the ac as well but with the support uh, they got from their uh, students and the way the uh, the management worked to make this conference a very big success was really good this was the first virtual conference most of us has ever attended and will will always cherish this moment forever Uh, i would like to give a brief about our chapter aicih amdavad university was established not long ago it was established in 2018 and we had uh, it was just our first year and it was we were into the we went to the regional student conference in mit wpu i would just share a small story this i'm sorry if i take up a lot of time but uh, it was me karan and ayushman we were sitting in the, sitting outside the hall of mit and we were just discussing what would happen if respective student chapters win we were discussing what uh, what all things we want to do if our chapter wins and when we really got the chance and we were elect when we were elected for 2020 uh, and ayushman uh, rahul bhaiya uh, pitched in for 2020 and they won and Uh, we uh, we got the host for 2021 at the president's meet we were really glad we laughed a lot after that we met after we we stayed back i guess after the closing ceremony we stayed back for uh, an hour or so we guys talked about all the stuff we went through like you know the stress it has of you know pitching in for a moment and then you guys get to finally win it that everyone has faced through mostly all and this pandemic has taken all of us by storm we can we do not know what will happen tomorrow a week later or even on a month so we will i we i assure you guys this is something which i this is a, as a this chapter is just it's been two and a half years and i was a part of it since the very beginning it was my dream to have the regional student conference hosted in uh, amdavad university before i graduate so that is i want to make sure that's a uh, offline conference where we guys can meet catch up this year we had no choice it was a forceful decision by us and uh, we we want you to visit the beautiful state gujarat and the heritage city of amdavad 
we have so much things planned for you guys i was originally gonna i had this in my mind that i was gonna host the website today at my closing ceremony at when i'll be at the nid rorkela but that's not gonna happen it's just this that i hope we, i we hope when you guys visit the regional student conference next year either it be a virtual or offline we set a new bench, benchmark for the future student conferences and then you guys would really appreciate what we have done thank you for nominating us and i will see you there next year thank you guys thank you thank you so much edwin uh, now i would request cynthia from bangladesh university of Tech engineering and technology the winners of the prestigious award to share a few words about their experience of the conference my audible Uh, yes, Abhishek, you are. Yes, 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 yes. yes you are. Okay, I guess uh, she she's having some network issue. If anyone from the attendees is from BUT, you can please raise your hand. I'll promote you to the panelist. Anyone from Bangladesh University oh. listening? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we have. ऐसे हम अबू नहीं हेलो या यू आर ऑडियो यस Thank you so much, guys, for for your nice conference. We really enjoyed it. Uh, we are team Dioxion. I, along with my friend Muspikar Rahman Dian, uh, we are a second runner-up. Uh, we are very glad. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, guys. Over to the host. Hello. Okay, so we have reached the end of. this evening as well as the end of the prajalit the student regional conference 2020 now i would like to call kanish bhaiya and abhishek bhaiya the vice president and president respectively of aicc nitr to give the vote of hello everyone honorable chief guests uh, present excellent excellencies professors seniors participating student chapter members ACH ESC members and my dear friends prajwalit the first virtual student regional conference of ACH ACH has seen some re remarkable participation and competitions this year for the past two and half days we have seen so many nail biting competitions such as chemi jpd chemi safe k12 stem showcase student technical presentations workshops mat that is the matlab aspen virtual concert and some really insightful guest lectures from our chief guest Professor Ed Scott Fogler, Professor Unit Sanjal, Professor B K Datta, and Mr. Devasis Chakraborty. With around 430 registrations, Team Prajwalit feels very honored to host this very exciting conference, first time virtually for the student members of ACC student chapters of the South Asia region. First of all, we want to thank National Institute of Technology, Rahul Kelam, and the Student Activity Center. for giving us this opportunity and the necessary support to organize this conference without any single difficulty i hope it is the biggest day in the history of a chapter and for the upcoming years today we have hosted the biggest student regional conference of south south asia region on behalf of aich nitr chapter i express my heartfelt thanks to our eminent chief guest professor ed scott fogler for his valuable time uh, more importantly i would like to thank our the whole chemical engineering department which has always supported us for every every single event we will thank our hod ma'am professor madhusri kundu ma'am professor sujit sen sir our faculty advisor professor biswajit sah sir and all the professors for their constant support and guidance over to kanish thank you abhishek i hope i am audible yeah so yeah i would like also to thank 
all the judges of various events for giving their valuable time and helping us so much. A very big thank you to our seniors and mentors for guiding us throughout and giving us all necessary tips and suggestions. We are really grateful to AICHE Global, AICHE ESC, Executive Student Committee, and all the student chapter for giving us the opportunity to host this wonderful conference of AICHE. I would also like to thank all the respective representatives of EICG chapters who have blessed us with their presence. I would like to thank all the members of different student chapters for participating in huge number, for showing so much patience through all the technical difficulties and making this, making this conference a huge success. Thank you to all our media partners, Bhavanisha Bus, Notice Board, Campus Time Pune, Radio Partner, Radio Chocolate, Ticketing Partner, Townscript, Merchandise Partner, Modi Vision, and our campus media partner, Monday Manu, for covering the whole conference. At last but not the least, thanks to the team and mentor for making this possible. Thank you everyone for making this conference a success. Thank you. Thank you guys. On behalf of everyone from ACH and ITR, a big thank you to our seniors, uh, to the conference chair, Ayushman Bhaiya, for, for everything, for, to our conveners, Shivam Bhaiya and Simrandi, and to all the seniors, Karan Bhaiya, Bijan Bhai, Ashish Bhai, Shivashish Bhai, you, you guys uh, supported us in each and every moment. A big thank you to all our seniors. Big thank you to Rahul Bhaiya, Sudhit sir, Manisha Ti for coming in today for the closing ceremony. A big thank you to everyone. I hope gradually 2020 was a huge success. Thank you guys. It was really a great event. Hey I'm proud of you guys. All of each and, each and every one of you. Congratulations, NIT Ravikula. Uh, like our chapter is growing at a very good pace, and we will soar higher. All the best, and thank thanks you. a lot. Thank you. Thank you to all the participants. Thank you, the goes the... To... Thank you Rahul. Yeah, yeah Kanish. The credit goes to the whole team, the volunteers, like the coordinators, the team heads, our juniors, and uh, you know we have set a basis for them, and in future as well we will you know set up. A high benchmark for all the chapters for our upcoming activities and this time as we have you know uh, organized a new activity k12 in this case we have added a new color to src i hope that the future host will continue this and will add some new new move colors to src thank you all for being with us and stay tuned a special thank you to our webmasters uh, ankit bhaiya and vishal rana for their amazing job uh, they had put together the website, the website and the website is very last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah really yeah. great to have uh, everything uh, in the website in such a short span of time. And uh, kudos to the whole team of website. And I would never forget to uh, mention Vedant and Mohit Madhavir who yeah. made it possible to onboard uh, HS Pogler, sir. And I will always be uh, grateful. Huge round of applause for them. PR team, the PR, PR team of, the, of this conference has, has been the best one I I, I could I, I could ever seen. I, I could uh, ever ask. ask for Vedant and Mohit have worked day and night for getting us media partners, radio partners, and getting so many chief guests which we couldn't have even imagined. So a huge hats off to the PR team, to all the juniors of the PR team for their excellent dedication for this. Thank you, thank you guys. So thank you all on so this guys, time, I guess we can wind up.